Hello, and thank you for tuning in to the ICR Network. My name is Noelle Yule, and as always, I'm bringing you the best in Christmas radio. Here is a new WDYWFC interview, or for you new listeners, a What Do You Want for Christmas interview. This one is with Cincinnati socialite Belladonna Ramona Lansing. Enjoy! What do you want for Christmas? I want a cow for Christmas. If it is a girl, it will be named Betsy, and if it is a boy, it will be named Betsy. I don't want a dairy cow. They are too much work. I don't have time to milk them morning and evening. I don't want that much milk either. I want an Angus, not for meat, but for the cow itself. I want a baby black Angus calf. I know this might not be productive, but I don't care. If I had Betsy, I would build a nice barn for her or him with a nice pasture full of bluegrass and a lake at the bottom for her or him to cool off in the summer. The lake will have plenty of fish for my father. Carp, bass, and bluegill will swim around Betsy's ankles. What will you do if your cow runs away? If my cow runs away, I plan on calling 911 and sending the police after him or her. Not the damn animal control, because they might not give him or her back. I intend on keeping my cow, not giving him or her up to the feds. Why do you want a cow? I want a cow because I want a damn cow. What's wrong with having a cow? Okay. When did you first want a cow? I was eight when I first desired a cow. My dad mentioned we could possibly get a farm, and I believe that every farm should have a cow because that's what you picture when you picture a farm with a long gravel drive up to a hill to a large white ranch-style house with a wraparound porch. The drive would then veer to the left and in a large red barn. In front of the house would be large pastures with cows. Around the barn there would be chickens and goats and cats and dogs. They would run free. Well, not the goats. The goats would run free in their own pasture. If goats ran free everywhere, they would eat everything. They might even eat Betsy. Where would you keep your cow? I would keep my cow on a farm. I don't understand why everyone keeps asking me where I would keep it. Do you really think Betsy could live in my backyard comfortably? Besides, I'm not a bad person. I wouldn't mistreat him or her. How old do you want your cow to be when you buy it? When I first get Betsy, I plan on him or her being a calf, so I would need to nurse him or her. I would buy a really large baby bottle to feed him or her milk, but not cow milk because that would be cruel. I would give him or her goat milk from the goats on our farm. No store-bought stuff or human milk. I would buy a light purple bottle because that is my favorite color, and pink and blue makes light purple. Will you have any kind of identification on your cow? I think Betsy will wear jewelry. Since he or she will be black, he or she will need a pop of color in his or her look. I'm thinking of going with a diamond encrusted cowbell. A purple satin lace will be tied to the encrusted bell around his or her neck. What does your family think of, of you buying a cow? I don't think my family is taking me seriously. When I bring up Betsy to my mom, she just smiles and nods. I don't think she's ever gotten over the cow debacle of her childhood. When she was little, she fell in dung and ruined her Easter dress. It was apparently the cow's fault, and she has never forgiven it. And my sister doesn't understand why I want one. She thinks a nice Tory Burch bag or a Prada dress would be better. My father just laughs. Every time I mention Betsy, he laughs like it's the best joke in the world. He just doesn't understand why I would name a boy Betsy. Will you eat your cow? I will not eat Betsy. Just because he or she is an Angus doesn't mean I will eat him or her. However, I will still continue to consume all other cows. I need my Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday steaks. Do you think you will buy any other cows? I only want Betsy. I do not want any other cows. I'm afraid if I get another cow, Betsy will favor it over me. I will not lose my future best friend to a cow. Will you ride your cow? I do not know if I will ride Betsy. I'm not allowed to ride a horse, so I don't think a cow would be a good idea. However, if I got a really fat saddle, I could probably ride him or her. Besides, cows are close to the ground anyways. If I fall, it won't be that bad. Will you enter your cow in any contests? Hmm, I think I will enter Betsy in the State Fair Cow Beauty Pageant. I might skip that, though, for the national competition because Betsy would cream the competition. He or she will not be an ugly, dirty cow. He or she will also not smell. I hate the smell of dirty cow. What will you feed your cow? Betsy will eat hay and grass like all other cows, even though he or she is prettier than the rest. That way I can't be accused of cow doping. I don't even know if that's a real fence, but I imagine doping lawsuits will soon enter cow competitions. I might as well be prepared. His or her diet will be all natural, hay produced on local Kentucky farms, and the grass will be our very own farm-grown bluegrass. Will you celebrate your cow's birthday? 
I will celebrate Betsy's birthday. If I don't get the actual birth date when I buy him or her, then I will make his or her birthday the day I bought him or her. I will not have a cake because that would make Betsy sick, not because it is made of sugar, but because of the dairy used in the cake. My cow will not be overdosed on the fake hormone stuff sold in stores. If a cow eats or drinks dairy, that is like cannibalism. My cow will not be a cannibal. Will you castrate your cow if it is a boy? If Betsy's a boy, he will not be castrated. There are two reasons for this. One, castration costs money, and two, my father said he would pay to have this done to no man. This includes cows. When I was 10, he neutered our bunny, and he has lived with regret ever since. Betsy should be proud of his true self and not be ashamed of his marbles. What will you do with your cow during thunderstorms? When there are thunderstorms, I will not keep Betsy in the pasture or the barn. I will keep him or her in my bedroom. We will be thunder buddies. I will not let him or her be alone on scary nights, because that would be cruel. Besides, if the barn gets struck by lightning and catches on fire, I wouldn't be able to turn into Wonder Woman and save him or her. How did you choose the name for your cow? I don't know why I chose Betsy's name. I've always liked the name for cow. His or her full name will be Betsy Rose Lansing. We will be like twins! Betsy Rose Lansing and Belladonna Ramona Lansing. How will you get your cow? I'm going to custom make a cow limo to pick up Betsy. It will be essentially be a tricked out RV. I'm not going to make a typical cow trailer fancy. That would be rude to separate him or her from the driver. I would also have to hire a driver who is okay with cows, but since he or she will be really cute and nice, I don't think it will be a problem. What will the limo look like? The RV will be very colorful. On the inside, there will be a mural that will be an accurate painting of the farm and the pasture where Betsy will graze when he or she is old enough. And the room in the back that would usually have a waterbed will have all natural hay for him or her to lie on. There will be plush benches for me and my family to sit on while we stay with Betsy on the trip from Paris. Are you excited to go to Paris? I am so excited to go to Paris. I went when I was little, but I don't remember it. I think it's weird that we have to go all of the way there for Betsy, but Dad said that was the, pla the closest place with baby black Angus cows. I am totally going to love the shopping, though. My friends say I should stroll along the streets next to the river at night because it is beautiful. I guess that's why it's the City of Lights. Maybe I will be able to use my French skills I learned this year when I go to Paris. You know that Paris is not in France, right? Oh, it's not in France? <laughs> You're joking, right? No, it's in France. It's the capital, duh. You know you can't drive a limo from Paris, right? I know I can't drive from Paris. The Pacific Ocean is in between. That's why I use a ferry for the limo. That's why the trip will take so long. Do you not understand that you're going to Paris, Kentucky, outside of Lexington, Kentucky? You're lying. There is no Paris, Kentucky. Here, I'll show you on my phone. See? Colquille's Farms is in Paris. Yes, Colcord Farm is in Paris, Kentucky, outside of Lexington. No, you were pronouncing it wrong. It's pronounced Colquille, not Colcord. It's French, so you pronounce it with a French accent. I'll prove it to you. I'll text my dad and show you. No, <laughs> never mind. You were right. It's in Kentucky.